I've been crying for the last few hours. I can still hear my wife screaming and sobbing in the other room. I've never regretted something so much in my entire life. I'm making this on an anonymous account because I don't want anyone to find out who I am. You'll soon see why. This is the only post I'll ever make, and I wish I could take it back. The worst part of all of this is that I could have stopped it from happening. I could have prevented this from happening, but it's too late now. Maybe this will keep you all from making the same mistake. I'm reminded for some odd reason of the old saying, curiosity killed the cat. This is what happened. I read this article on Reddit. And for those who don't want to click through and read it, it's a simple clickbait article laying out the possibility that AI can predict the future with amazing accuracy. According to some scientists who work with that sort of thing, they've been asking computers to predict things regarding certain events. Sometimes it's about politics or some other result in a controlled setup. Where will the ball land in a game of pachinko, for example? They found that the computer's AI could accurately predict the result 99% of the time, or so they allege. I'm not into computer science all that much, but the article piqued my interest. Wouldn't that be cool if it could do that? And if so, it would basically be like a psychic with scientific and mathematical proof behind it. I somehow got it into my head. I heard a lot about the advancements being made in AI. It's so powerful now that AI can generate photos based on typed up sentences and prompts. There are websites and engines online where anyone can type something up and get an image spit back at them. They're often derpy, but they've been getting really good lately. In fact, an AI computer recently won a recent art contest in Colorado. They've gotten so good. I've seen ads online for these AI text photo sites like DALI and whatnot on sites like Instagram, so I started to ask myself, what if you didn't just ask the AI for the future, but let it show you? Last night I went on to Dolly. It's free and easily found online for any of you stupid enough to play around with it. Usually it's used to generate silly photos from typed up sentences like, flying pineapples with pearl earrings. Instead of typing a sentence or a descriptive phrase about what I wanted generated, I asked the AI about my future. I did it as a joke at first. I had read that article and I figured it bring back some dumb image or something nonsensical. All I typed in was, me, my wife, and our two-year-old son's future. This is what I got back. It's an image of a kid lying across a road, with blood all over the street. I have to use Imager to upload these AI photos. As you can see, it was creepy as hell. I've cropped the image to protect the identity of myself and my wife. It showed our faces and what looked to be my son, his face turned away on the road in a pool of his own blood. But I laughed it off. The faces were similar to us, but we don't own a car like that. Besides, the AI works by selecting from Google Images, so that couldn't be any couple. I shuddered, but managed to move past it. I typed in a few other prompts. I forgot about the photo for a little while. But it kept creeping back into the front of my mind. And finally, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to know if it was just some random fluke. I typed in, me and my wife getting married, as a prompt. I couldn't really think of anything else, but I figured it was vague and amorphous enough to prove that, to me that the AI wasn't some all-knowing being. It brought back this image. Again, I have cropped it to hide our identities. I'll say this much right now. I gasped when I saw it. Our wedding photo is so similar it isn't even funny. I was so shocked I started laughing. Do you ever get so freaked out you just start laughing for no reason? That was me for a solid 10 minutes. Then the shock turned to confusion. How could the AI replicate our wedding photo so well? We had a Halloween wedding, which is why my wife was wearing an orange dress. It had the same black suit I had. Everything. The posing was just off and our faces distorted because the AI has trouble with proportions. But it was so similar. Maybe I should have freaked out, but I honestly had no idea what to do. What are you supposed to do in that kind of situation? I tried to explain it rationally. 
I eventually figured that the AI must be using my location and then taking photos from Google images of my wedding photos from Facebook. We posted so many online, and a lot of Facebook photos are searchable through Google. It didn't exactly calm me, but it seemed like a good enough explanation. I decided that was enough of the site for my liking. I wish that it had all stopped there. I wish I had listened to my gut. I wish I had done something or told someone. I wish it so much. I did nothing and went to bed last night like usual. This afternoon, my wife was playing with our son in our front yard. Oh, man. I had just gotten back from work. I was sitting on the veranda. My wife turns to ask me something about dinner. My son suddenly runs off into the road. A driver in a red Honda came down the road. You can guess exactly what happened. I can't even type it. 30 miles over the speed limit. Some idiot teenager showing off for his stupid friends. The screaming. The wailing. My son was dead in an instant. In that AI photo, I captured it almost perfectly. I swear. It even got the color of his shirt right. My wife has been utterly inconsolable. She won't touch me. She just keeps wailing and screaming for her baby who will never come back. I could have done something. It had warned me, but I was too stupid to listen. I had a gut feeling that day, but I didn't even think of it. I was busy today with work and errands. It slipped my mind, and curiosity killed the cat. I don't know if knowing would have made a difference, but I know now that I am tortured by the fact that I got to see the future and did nothing to change it. It's my fault. I can't even begin to describe the guilt and pain I feel right now. Me and my wife got back from the hospital an hour ago. I went into our bedroom, and I've been typing this up. Maybe if all of you read this, you'll learn from me. And for the love of God, don't go messing with things you don't understand, please. This AI stuff is more powerful than any of us realize. And if you do decide to be stupid and ask about your future, consider that you may be better off not knowing. I did something as soon as I got home. I went on Dolly again. I stared at the screen for a while and decided to ask it about my future again. I typed it in. What is my future? And it gave me this image. It's an image of a body on a bed with blood all over the walls from the base of the bed to the ceiling. This is the last thing I will ever write. Final good thing for the world before I leave it. I have it in my hands now. And who am I to keep the future from coming?